that's another one. Current record on that is 21, so I just tied it. Um, I haven't watched the video for that one either. <laughs> but um, this I used a setup in the second uh, thing, the second, uh, what, what are they called, obstacle, in the second obstacle. Um, and I, <clears throat> sorry, and I, uh, I, I did, after I got done with the first jump in, onto the platform that bounces you up and then onto the next one and then down, after I land I do a short jump and then the, I do another short jump and the second one will always land me in the right spot so that I will bounce off of the um, thing, the little platform, I'll bounce off of that at the right trajectory and angle to land on the other one uh, and then I'll land on the platform at the very end and that saves a couple of frames I think or probably a lot actually like I said I haven't watched the video so I don't know if they use that but it's cool um, I also figured out that the last uh, obstacle is like really easy to time actually for the uh, that thing at the end where I I like, uh, I jump and I also get hit by it at the same time. You have to, so you're buffering a full jump, and then right as you're about to land, you buffer another full jump, and then you buffer another full jump when you're about to land from that one. And then, um, as you're landing after that last one, you're going to run into that little red thing a little spinning thing right there and uh, you press it like right around when you hit that and then you jump I, I've made it so that I get it like 90% of the time so yeah this only took like half an hour yeah I've been recording for half an hour and that's how long I've been attempting it so that's neat uh, yeah <laughs>